Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up MySQL on your Ubuntu operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, we are going to install and set up MySQL server. So for that, you just need to open your terminal. So just click on this show apps icon and then click on the terminal option. Alternatively, you can also press Control Alt T to open the terminal. Here, the first command is sudo apt update command and when you press enter and you need to give your ubuntu's password which you use to log into your ubuntu operating system and press enter and this command ensures your system package index is up to date so just uh, give this command and wait for this command to finish so once this command is finished let me clear the terminal and the second command we are going to use is sudo apt install mysql hyphen server here and then press enter once again in between you will see this kind of uh, question it says do you want to continue it's going to uh, take this much amount of additional disk space on your computer if you agree press y and then press enter and then just wait for some time until you see that this command is finished so once this command is finished you can see uh, in last few log messages that it has been set up as a service on our ubuntu operating system so we are going to check whether this mysql service is already enabled by this command and if it's running or not so for that we are going to clear the terminal and to check the status of our MySQL service, we are going to give this command, which is sudo systemctl status space MySQL and then press enter and it's going to give you the status of your MySQL service. You can see at this time it's already enabled and it's already active and running. For enabling your MySQL service, if it's not already enabled, you can give this command sudo systemctl enable or if you want to disable it, you can give the disable command here, right? So this is in the case when you don't see enabled here. We are already seeing enabled here, so we don't need to give this command, right? If the service is not enabled, we need to enable it manually and this is the command for that. So once the service is enabled, you need to start that service. So to start the service, you give this command, sudo systemctl start and then mysql, right? To stop the service, you give this command, which is sudo systemctl stop mysql, right? So this is how you deal with mysql service. In our case, as I mentioned, it's already enabled. So once you see this kind of output, that our service is already running service is already operational then we can connect to our mysql server using mysql command line client but before that we also need to set some security related configurations so for example if you want to set the root password you need to uh, give the following command so let me uh, clear the terminal once again and give this command which is sudo space mysql hyphen secure hyphen installation and then press enter and it says validate password component can be used to test passwords and it also says would you like to set up the validate password component in our case because we just want to test mysql uh, server I can uh, give n command or no command here but if you want to set up this kind of component which uh, will allow you to validate the password then press y here for now i'm going to uh, press n here and then press enter and then it says remove the anonymous uh, users so if you want to uh, remove the anonymous user privileges then you can press y in my case i'm once again going to press n here because I don't want to remove the anonymous users for now and then press uh, enter here and then the next question is this allow root user to log in remotely I will uh, just press uh, n key once again and then press enter here 
and then it says remove test database and access to it once again i'm going to press n here and then press enter and then it says reload privilege table now this time i need to press y and then press enter and then everything is done and you can see it says all done that means uh, we have successfully configured all the steps uh, in this uh, mysql secure installation now when i scroll a little bit up here it says skipping password set for root as authentication without socket is used by default that means for our root user we haven't chosen any password so when we give the mysql command we will be able to log into our mysql server without any password so if this works for you that's good but if you like to set any password authentication instead you need to use the alter user uh, command right so for now let's check our mysql uh, client and see if everything is working fine and then i'm going to show you how you can uh, set the root password also right so this time let me just uh, clear the terminal once again and then give this command which is sudo mysql and then press enter and when you give this command you will see this kind of mysql client and here you can give a, any uh, mysql related uh, statements to interact with your mysql server now as i mentioned because we haven't uh, set any root password we can just use sudo mysql to log into our mysql server but if you want to set the new password then you just need to get into your mysql client so if you see mysql and then this angle bracket you are into your mysql client and then to change the root password you give this command which is alter user and then the username is root at the rate localhost because our server is running on the localhost identified with mysql hyphen native hyphen password by and then you need to give the new password right so in my case i'm going to give the new password as root for example right in your case you might want to uh, give some complex or strong password here so once you are done i'm going to give this uh, command in the description of this video also so you can directly uh, copy this command and paste it into your terminal to set the root password so let me just uh, paste this command and then press enter and it says query okay zero rows affected and once we are done we can give the exit command to exit out of this mysql client and you can see it says buy and now we are into the normal ubuntu terminal so once that's done let me close this terminal and reopen this terminal so control alt t is going to open the new terminal and let's say i'm going to give this command once again which is sudo space mysql and then press enter and then i'm going to give my ubuntu's password which i use to log into my ubuntu operating system and now this time it says access denied because we have set the root password and the root password was root this time so now if we normally give this sudo mysql command it's not going to let us into our mysql client we need to give the root password also so for that you can write this command which is sudo mysql and then space hyphen u and provide the username which is root for us and space hyphen p which will ask us to provide our root password which is root in my case you might have set the different root password right so we have set the root password so give this command and then press enter and i'm going to provide the root password so i'm going to just type root here and then press enter and this time it will allow us to get into our mysql shell and then you can now uh, use this mysql shell to interact with your mysql show server so now to test uh, your mysql uh, shell you can give this command which is show databases and then give the semicolon here and then press enter it's going to give you uh, all the default databases which comes with your mysql server so this information schema mysql performance schema and sys are the default databases so we haven't created those databases right now uh, if you want to uh, 
connect to a particular database, you need to give the use command. So just write use. And let's say I want to connect to this default database, which is information schema. Then I give the name of this uh, database and then give semicolon and then press enter. And you can see it says database changed. So now we are using this default database, right? Then uh, we can also show the tables inside the database. So I'm going to just write show tables and then press enter and it's going to show all the tables inside this default database. So you can see there are so many tables in this default database. So I'm going to just write exit and then press enter and we are out of, of our MySQL client. Let me clear the terminal. And once again, I'm going to give this command and give my root password and let's create a database this time, right? So to create a database, give this command, which is create database and the name of your database. So my database name is, let's say my new DB and then press enter. And that means this database is created. And now you can give this command, which is show databases and you will see the name of your database, which is my new DB. Now let's create a table inside this database. So for this, you can give this command, which is create table. I'm going to create the user table. And then, and then in that table, I'm going to have four columns, ID, name, email, and, uh, created at ID will be auto incrementing and primary key and others are where care and created at is a timestamp and it says no database selected. So in which database do I want to create uh, this table? So for that, I want to use use my new DB name here to switch to the new uh, database, right? So my new DB and then you need to give this command, which is create table users and, and all of those columns and then press enter. And then it says, uh, query. Okay. Zero, uh, rows affected. And then when I say show tables here and then press enter, our user table is created. We can see here, right? So our MySQL server setup is complete with the MySQL client. Now, uh, MySQL also provides a GUI interface or graphical user interface for interacting with our MySQL server, which is called MySQL Workbench tool. So let me show you how you can install MySQL Workbench. So it will be easier to interact and see all the major configurations or what's happening into your MySQL server using the graphical user interface. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for snap MySQL workbench community. So we are going to use a tool called snap, which also comes with your Ubuntu operating system by default. So you don't need to install it. And when you search for snap MySQL workbench community, it's going to give you this kind of uh, output, which is from snapcraft.io forward slash MySQL workbench community. So I'm going to click on this link here. And then here is the installation command. So you just need to click on this install button here. And this will be the command you can use to install MySQL workbench using snap. Okay, so let's uh, copy this command and then open our terminal once again. Let me open the new terminal here and then just paste this command, which is sudo snap install MySQL workbench and then press enter and give your Ubuntu's password, which you use to log into your Ubuntu operating system and then press enter. And once you give this command, you just need to wait for a few seconds until this installation is finished. And once this command is finished, uh, MySQL workbench community edition is installed on our Ubuntu operating system. So now we can click on show apps icon. And then at the bottom, you can see this option, which is MySQL workbench. You can also search for MySQL Workbench using the search bar and then click on the MySQL Workbench icon, which is going to open your MySQL Workbench. And you can see a MySQL Workbench has been opened. So to connect to your default MySQL server, which is running on your local host, you already have this configuration. 
So it says local instance root localhost 3306, which is the default port on which MySQL runs. So just click on uh, this, which is going to ask you for your root password. This is the password which we have set using the alter user command. And this is the password we have set, which is root password. So I'm going to just write root here and then also check this checkbox, which is save password in keychain and then click on OK, which is going to connect to our MySQL server and show us all the configuration for our MySQL server. So here you can see a few sections. The management section is going to tell you about uh, how your server status is. So you can see our local instance 3306 is running right now, how many connections are working now and all the other uh, metrics related to your uh, MySQL server are shown here, right? So it's the administration panel. You can also see client connections here. You can also see the user and privileges section here. So right now we are logged in with this user, which is the root user, right? But MySQL also have other default users. So this is the administration panel. You can see this kind of arrow here. When you click on this arrow, you will see the schema section here. So this is the database which we have created, right? So you can close this and then close this also. And then when you click on this arrow once again, you will see uh, the tables here. And when you click on this arrow, you will see the table name which we have uh, created, which is users. And then you can also see the columns in that table, right? If you want to see uh, the content in that table, right click on that table and then click on select rows limit thousand and it's going to uh, give this kind of query and then it's going to show you the content in your table. So right now we don't have any uh, rows in our table. So it says null, but it's already showing the columns, right? And you can also change this query uh, to uh, fetch your data based on your query. So this is how you can install MySQL Workbench to connect to your MySQL server. So that's it for this video. This is how you can set up the MySQL server and MySQL workbench on your Ubuntu operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.